Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today. And today we're working on a Jeep TJ. Holy smokes, what a crazy bunch of fun today was. So, um, the PCM takes care of the voltage regulator for your alternator. It's a common thing for the voltage regulator to go on these old PCMs and then you're screwed. You have to buy a new PCM. I didn't want to have to do that. So what we did is, as you can see, R400 voltage regulator. There are tons of external voltage regulators for your alternator. How to diagnose this? Put your voltmeter on. Start the vehicle. Crank the head or put the headlights on max and crank your heating or whatever to max with your blower motor and you'll watch this drop. And your alternator, you've replaced it and it has still not started charging the system. And you're like, what do I do now? Other than buy a new PCM, you buy that R400 or you buy an external uh, voltage uh, regulator. And then what you're going to do, you're going to notice if you get this one, because it's not too bad, it's pretty cheap. One of them says I. This stands for ignition. You can grab this off the cigarette lighter or the ignition column. Um, I can show you where to grab it and how easy it is to grab it off the cigarette lighter. So anyways, ignition column. A alternator on the back of your alternator i'll show you where that goes you put that to your back of your alternator power wire i suggest at the same time you run a new power wire from your alternator straight to the battery you can fuse it if you so wish i don't usually fuse them and that's just because of my old car audio days it's better unless you're going to fuse it at like at least 100 to 300 amps anyways and then you have f which is field now on these jeep alternators let's go ahead and pull one out. It has two field wires. You can actually, um, you have to run one of them to field and the other one to ground. Uh, what I did is I left the factory one on because if we flip this over, um, where is it here? There it is. The, there's the ground. You don't have to use this anymore. There is field and there's field. You have two of them. Well, you're going to notice that your piece there is going to put power out. So 12 volts is going to go out from that external piece F sensor goes into here. And then the other one needs to get grounded. And then what that little thing is going to do is to make sure that you don't overcharge your system. Because if you don't have that and you just ground and positive, what will end up happening is you overcharge your system and you will start cooking things. All right. So again, let's go to the back here. The one that's right here, the A on the F400 goes to there as well as the big chunky power wire that goes straight to your battery. They both go to here. The ignition goes inside. You could try and tap off of another wire that has ignition under the hood. I didn't bother why because it's super easy to shoot one down here, pop through the grommet right under here, bring it around. Let me turn on my handy dandy Milwaukee here and it literally pops through right there you pop it out there bring it along here and you can literally wrap your hand around and get it over here how do you pop this off pretty easy pop this trim panel off i usually get my finger over here and you literally lift up on it and see how it slides up perfect pop that all the way out take the two screws out here pop this forward four screws right here you have access to your cigarette lighter uh, go off the blue wire that's there solder onto the blue wire or t-tap it on bring it over put it over there very important try to leave something there because you want to make sure uh that's on there otherwise you're gonna not charge you won't get voltage which would not be a good thing right so either way we come over here you've now got how to bring that wire over and bring it over to here the other one is a stator wire you don't have a stator don't worry leave that blank do not touch it other thing, you need a ground because if you just bring this up here and uh, zap strap it, uh, you're going to need a ground for it. Uh, so what I did is I just soldered it on the back side. But you would put a wire on here, solder it, and bring it right to your ground. Uh, the other field wire, because remember there's two. Take the other field wire and I'm going to put that here. Run it and ground it as well. So one field wire gets grounded. The other one goes straight to it. When you do that you'll instantly start seeing charging in your system. So again, a ground from here 
and then ground the field wire. You could solder the field wire right to there too if you wanted to, and then just run run ground, but I wouldn't bother. And then once you do that, you'll instantly hear that alternator kick in when you turn it on and your battery will start charging. That's all there is to it. That's how easy it is to wire one of these external voltage regulators. And that is all there is to it. I hope this helped you out. And again, you can do this for, I don't know, 50 to 100 bucks, depending on how much stuff you already have. Uh, I bought some ringlets so that way I could tie it onto the uh, battery here. And I also bought uh, some buck connectors because Oh, that's what I did. Rather than run the field wire straight to the field, as you can see, I buck connected onto the factory ones. Really easy to trace them right here off the back of the alternator and then go from there. This isn't about removing the alternator if you're interested in that. What I'll do is you can literally type in Ghosty Rich TJ alternator swap out and it'll show you how to remove the alternator and do all that in the serpentine, blah, 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 blah. Let's save you some time here, right? Anyways, I hope this helped you out. Thanks again for watching. Press like if it did. Subscribe for more, and I hope this gets you back running.